Let's go and blow one up. Ah, oh, see, that's better. Look, this is the real me once again. Now then, yes, I've got a coconut. And uh, yesterday, a brilliant YouTube user said to me, why don't you blow a coconut up, put a couple of probes in it and put voltage for it. What a good idea that was. So here's one I prepared earlier. Two probes, still got the liquid in it. And just for fun, it has a pressure gauge built in so we can observe the pressure. Now what we want to know is, is it going to blow these eyes out, which would be disappointing if it does, or is the whole thing going to go pop? And that's what we want. So what I might do on these others is put a load of glue around these, do the same again, see how big we can uh, get the uh, little explosion if we do get one. Now then, fucked off with microwave oven transformers, they're shit, they're pence. When I have one it don't last more than five minutes. We're going to use this bad boy today and we'll put whatever voltage we like for it until it pops. So let's crack on with it, I know you want to see it. This should be good. Right, here's our coconut. I have no idea what it's going to do, but we're going to go for it. Juice is on. Oh, it's already pulling some juice. It's pulling about five amps. And I'll tell you what, when that old fucking pressure gauge goes up, I'm fucking out of there. This thing's remote, so it's fine. Oh, yeah, got a bit of amps there. Oh, it's pulling ten amps. I do believe that pressure gauge is just a oh, fuck, I'm out of here. I'll come back when it goes bang. See you later. <laughs> How are we doing on that pressure? I want to have a look at it. No, we need more than that. See, this is the exciting bit, isn't it? This is why we do these things. <laughs> Fuck, you know how much is that taking? Oh, fucking hell. It's got a hole in it, I can see it escaping. Kettle boiled. <laughs> Fuck it out. Fucking hell. Shit. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's obliterated. Fucking hell. Oh, I felt that shockwave. Shit, it's everywhere. Mmm, smells nice. <laughs> Fuck that. Trust the old power supply. Look at that, it is everywhere that stuff. Boom! Well, I'm still up here, up to no good.
Now I'm going to get to the bottom of this coconut problem. Because previously, we've had a coconut, stuck a couple of probes in it, cranked it up, and they've uh, exploded quite nicely. But today, it's like they've got a pressure relief valve. We can't let that, can we? So I want to crank one up, outside in the open, well, say in the open, exposed so we can observe it, see where the pressure's uh, escaping. If it is, it might be that I'm trying to crank it up a bit too quick and too fast and it's burning it. And the other experiment, the two experiments, obviously I want to know exactly what the right voltage and right current is, even the distance for the probes, for the optimum result. So I want those uh, figures today. And the other thing is, I want to know whether that coconut can exert the same amount of force as my hammer on that screen when it pops, if it pops. I've got about 18 coconuts left. I'm going to get to the bottom of this one. Probably get to the bottom of the bloody box there. So, uh, let's turn on and see what happens. Right, here's our next test. finally happy with that one. That was quite a brute, wasn't it, eh? Um, it is, there's bits of it everywhere. All over these walls. On every wall, there's coconut. Even the cats come up here to investigate what all that fuss was about. Right, the figures are in, ladies and gents. It comes down to the old faithful. Bigger is better. You want a big old coconut. One with loads of juice in it. And, uh, you want the uh, screws, or whatever you're going to use as electrodes, about two inches, inch and a half to two inch distance, right? And you want them about inch and a half long. And uh, 240 volts is good, but you want a steady 5 amps. Don't go over 5 amps, because it just fries it and it wrecks it. Um, that's quite good. I think uh, we need one more test. That's the cat uh, moaning at me, look. One more test, right? In the name of science, and this is science, of course it is, research and development, one more coconut in the back of that telly. I'm determined to do it. Um, so I'm going to select a nice big juicy one. Same numbers as before, and uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm a bit more happier with that last one. That went off a bit of a boom. You probably can't appreciate it on that camera. But uh, it, it definitely, oh look, I've just seen a bit of a coffee cup down here. Shit. I think that must have hit the camera. There's coconut and coffee cup. Oh, I ain't got something to stand it on there. Oh, I don't need it, do I? I'll have to put it in the telly then. Right, last test in the TV, and we'll see what happens. See if we can pop that CRT, because I have a rather dislike for those TVs. Horrible thing. Last test.
that's a good job I've got back up power on it, eh? <laughs> I popped it. Let's reinstate it.